how do I get in this spot, you know? Like, how did I get in this fucking spot? Got him. No one, I have no clue what you're doing. <laughs> how am I in this spot right now? If you think you better than battle The plane is still to vlog today, but first we have to attend an Aces playoff game. Las Vegas Aces playoff game, then poker. Okay. From the Aces game to the Bellagio, we are on the list. We should get a seat quickly. Let's make this thing happen. Hello, how are you? What have you like? Yes, sometimes. Thank you. Thank you. As you can imagine, after a sporting event, any sporting event, traffic is crazy. WNBA, surprisingly, is no exception. It took about an hour to get home, 30 minutes to get back to the strip, parking, getting chips, etc. When I approached the table, the dealer asked me if I want the big blind. I do, so I get dealt in. Welcome to the table, Mr. Burton. Thank you, sir. Keep in mind, I haven't sat down yet. I'm literally standing over the table in the three-seat position, backpack still on, hoodie draped over my shoulder. The low jack has limped in and I glance down at pocket sixes. Not a bad starting hand. The small blind, an older woman reg, plays decently, solid. She makes it $50. I call 250 big blinds deep. The low jack comes along. Three of us? Yeah. Now I'm seated. I think my camera is still running from the walking to the table shot, but I'm not sure. It's not on a stand or anything. It's literally face down on my leg. 6-4 jack with two diamonds. Wow. I flopped a set. The small blind checks and I take the lead by betting $50 while at the same time trying to get this damn camera stand set up and trying to look very nonchalant about it. The low jack folds and now the small blind check raises me to $150. Can a brother get situated first? Damn. I call. Turn ace of hearts. Almost set up. Almost set up. Just let me slide this over a bit. Okay, ready. She's already checked. Okay, Jamin, where are we? Bellagio, set of sixes. Opener, check raise, checked. Flush draw, ace on turn. What's in the pot? 350, 400? I bet pot, 400. Close enough. She tanks. Five, four. Four. Good, let me breathe. Like, who's even at this table? Calls 400. River nine of spades. She checks again. Good. Flush is missed. Her having a big ace she just floated with? Likely. Her having a bigger set? 
very unlikely. So I have the nuts. What now? What's in the pot? 50, 50, 50, that's 150, plus 150, and 150, that's um, 450 plus 800? What the hell is 450 plus 800? Jamin, think. She has um, 1250-ish left? What the hell's 450 plus 800? Ugh. I'm all in. I'm all in. Okay, she's thinking, so I faded the snap call. That's good. Now, where do I look? Jamin, just stare at the board. Keep logging this? Well, I don't know. It should be. But what do I do with my left hand, though? It's just kind of dangling. This feels unnatural. All right. Damn it. She folded. Oh, well. Good start, though. Good start. What's that? I know, right? Uh, it's not. <laughs> I don't know if I was reporting that or not. I will tell you in a second. Less than an orbit later, we look down at another decent starting hand in king-queen offsuit. One player has limped in front of me, so I raise it up to $40 and get a call from the big blind and the original limper. That's good. I'm probably not dealing with a situation in which either of my cards are dominated. King, queen, deuce with two diamonds. Both the big blind and limper check it over to me. Well, I couldn't have hit this flop much harder, and I'm blocking both flush draws, so that's extra nice. I continue for $50 because you gotta charge them something. But unfortunately, they both fold. the most talkative person I've ever encountered at the Bellagio sits to my right. Dude was non-stop. He told everyone he was training to be an MMA fighter. I'm going to be a 40-year-old okay. virgin and MMA fighter. He challenged the table to Game of Thrones trivia for money or push-ups. Game of Thrones, guys. I'll give you money for push-ups. <laughs> oh, and he also claimed to be a Targaryen. My man was hilarious. That being said, I'm still glad I was up next to move to the main game. Meanwhile, there's a poker game going on. I open from the under the gun two spot to $30 with ace queen offsuit, get raised to $110 from the low jack, and the player on my right is non-stop talking the entire time. That is a must move. It's not like this is one game. No, this game will be gone all out. Yeah, it's just five it's a brand yeah. game. Action folds around to the big blind who cold calls the $110 right around the time the player to my right is telling me that he kicked it with Nimi. Talkative. Non-stop. I just kicked it with uh, Nimi. Yeah? Yeah, he's cool. He's cool. He's a good the guy. Reason I, thought it was a I just fold. The table, for the most part, was pretty passive. So I just looked for opportunities to bet and keep betting as no one was playing back at me. Here, with the straddle on, I open from the button with jack-10 offsuit 
in the straddler calls. The flop of seven deuce deuce shouldn't really hit him too hard. So when he checks, I just bet again, $30. He calls. The turn king of diamonds sees him check again. And that seems like a good card for me to bet. Hell, they all seem like good cards to bet when villains are just folding. So I do. I cut out $80, but he folds before I even finish my betting motion. Viva la Mexico. When did this become a 25 cap? Mm, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. August 31st. I like the 15 cap because I watched so many of Brad videos on the way home. <laughs> okay, sorry to jump into the middle of the vlog like this. It's like Friday night. I'm in the middle of editing this thing. And I can't convey to you how loud this man was when he's just talking. He's so loud, louder than anything you've ever heard in the Bellagio. So loud that the floor actually comes over to try to quiet him down. Just wait, you'll see. You don't even understand, like, I do like fucking rants. I do like, I see the racism. I'm the Asian American representative for uh, Asian American rights. You know, I'm like, who's our guy? Who's our Jesse Jackson? Who's our fucking athlete? There's <laughs> fucking Jackson. nobody. I'm the Jesse Jack. That's the fucking hashtag. I'm the motherfucker. Nobody has said to you, you are Jesse Jackson. I said that about myself. Oh, okay. I'm the Jesse Jackson of this shit. I'm the Jesse Jackson for Asian American rights. Korean pride. I'm a motherfucking <laughs> rooftop Korean, homie. I assembled. Let's go. OC chapter. OC chapter president. Hawaiian guard is motherfucking legend. Attest. Attest. <laughs> I'll test it. I'll test it. Hawaiian Garden's legend over here. Yeah. The legend. When I die, yeah. sprinkle my motherfucking ashes inside of the volcano. I got 10 jackpots at Hawaiian Gardens. How many? <laughs> I need to see those. No, you died. I don't have to worry. It's okay. No, no. We're all friends. Uh, no. I know. I know. You're right. You're right. You're right. I agree. And I love you. You can't speak to him like that. He's in Hawaiian Garden's legend. I, I'm the legend. <laughs> I'm, I'm the face of the game. I'm the, I'm the motherfucking face of the game of the battle game. I'm the founder. What do you mean? I found I founded the game. It's my game. Listen, when I tell you that me getting moved to the main game couldn't happen fast enough, you you have no idea. Blast off. My master plan. Spreading good vibes. Showing up with your bad self. Bang. The main game was polar opposite of the must move. The main game was playing super tight, well, excluding me and the older gentleman to my direct left. He didn't believe anything I did, and on the flip side, I didn't believe anything he did. That equation often just led to him and I in a lot of pots together. In this one, he has put the straddle on, and I open to $60 with what I deem is likely the best hand, ace for offsuit. He calls. I flop top pair on ace six seven with two spades, and I have the ace of spades, which is nice. I lead for $50, and he min raises me to 100 The old click back. Way too many draws on this board for me to just give up right now. Plus, I don't believe him. I call. We see a non-spade deuce on the turn, a colossal brick. I check and he continues for another $100. Call. The river four of diamonds gives me two pair and brings in some really weird straights, which I honestly don't put past him having. I check again, willing to call off a pretty hefty sum if it comes to that, but it doesn't. He checks it back and says, two pair, flipping over ace deuce. I show him the winner. Two pairs, sir. Oh, oh arm wrestle. <laughs> wow. That's brutal. What? A few hands later, I open the action to $30 with ace three suited. There's no straddle this time. And he calls me again. Heads up, we see a flop of deuce 3-3 three, three because I run good. I lead by checking, hoping that he stabs at this one. No stab. The turn five of clubs puts two clubs on board, and now I bet $40. The base four again? Oh, yeah. Yeah, base anything. You're too good, man. 
It's too good. <laughs> Why am I losing that? <laughs> Same orbit and the straddle is back on. I looked down at pocket queens from the low jack and opened to $50. Mr. Disbelief, over to my left, raises to $150 off his $2,700 stack. Yes, this is the situation I was hoping for. Now, the hard part. I just need to catch a good board and I'll win a big one here. Wait, what in the hell? Before the preflop action is completed, the straddler now moves all in for around $900. Six, eight, nine, Oh no, this can't be happening. I begin the funeral for my queens. I can't call and get shoved on by the hijack. Raising is probably a torch too for the same reason. And with the way this action played out, it's not a lock that I'm ahead of either of them. How do I get in this spot, you know? Like, how did I get in this fucking spot? Got him. No one, I have no clue what you're doing. <laughs> how am I in this spot right now? <laughs> this is real life. <laughs> I fold. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that fold. Fold. I gotta be the best. I gotta be the best in the world. <laughs> oh. Strong <Drawing> dead. <laughs> I'm gonna fool this because I know what he fooled. What he fooled? I think queens. Fool you fool the queens? Yes, sir. What do you have? Queens? <laughs> oh, seriously? Yeah, I thought you fooled the kings. No, oh, I never fooled in kings. I'm just getting it shoved up my ass. Watch me get it live. Okay, you're a blogger. Would you defend that? Yeah, yeah. I, for 100%. <laughs> the table was fun, don't get me wrong. It just wasn't action packed. It was normal. In this next one, I put the straddle on and action folds around to the small blind, a player that's definitely on the more snug side of things. He makes it $80. From this player, from his position in this deep, I just call his raise with pocket jacks. We go to the flop, heads up. Six, eight, four with two diamonds. He continues for $100. His range is still uncapped and his player profile leans me into believing that he has an overpair or a hand like ace king. I'm just not sure which. And I can't beat most of his overpairs. That's the problem. I call the $100. The turn nine of clubs puts two clubs on board, and he checks. Now I have more insight into what overpairs he doesn't have. Aces, kings, queens, they get tossed. I take the lead now by betting $180, and he calls. The river three of clubs brings in the backdoor flush. He checks again. Action is on me, and now I have to find hands that can call me and that I can still beat half the time. And there's really only one. Pocket tens. Everything else isn't calling me, or it beats me. I check it back and I end up winning this one when he tables the one hand that I could have maybe gotten value from. Pocket tens. In the hand following the jacks, the straddle is still on and the player in the under the gun one spot has deemed that limping is inappropriate behavior. Action folds all the way back around to me, and looking down at Ace-King offsuit, I decide that it, in fact, is not an appropriate behavior. I raise to $80, and Mr. Disbelief in the straddle comes along. The under-the-gun one player, who had a $20 hand mere seconds ago, 
now has one he values to be worth four times that much, and he calls the $80. King eight deuce with two spades. Three ways, I lead right out into both of them for $100, but only Mr. Disbelief is game. The under-the-gun player with his paper hands exits. The turn four club sees me bet again, $160 this time. I know he doesn't believe me. He never does, and I don't want to give him much reason to fold. He comes along again. The five of spades river brings in the front door flush, but holding the ace of spades myself, I'm not that worried about it. $250 I wager this time, but Mr. Disbelief is now a believer. Three bullets, I believe. What's that? Three bullets, I believe. <laughs> I had it. I always have it. Bluffing's scary. I don't want to do that. That's the problem with this guy. He's too rich. He's just rich. Oh, well, he's eating. Uh, he's, guys are yeah. getting a massage or guys are eating a, a meal that takes work. Yeah. If they make a big raise, get out of Not the him. Way. He doesn't care about money. He's just what I like. Yeah, but he doesn't, yeah, he doesn't care. Yeah, he doesn't care. Walking down the strip one day, I saw this guy throwing, wad, wadding up $100 bills and just throwing them at little, like, homeless children. Like, he doesn't care. Like, he's just like, that's just who he is. Wow, he's just yeah, just no, just like yeah. throwing them and then laughing as they like pick them up. Like. <laughs> <laughs> You're kind of mean. No, that's wow. just how he is. I want at least one with you tonight. At least what, one. What's that? I want at least one with you. That's all I ask. I'll play this hand. <laughs> My decision's made. If you raise this hand, I'm blind. All right. All right. <laughs> I won't even look. I'll play blind. If you raise up, I'm blind. I'm in. I call. Whatever he does, I call. Come on, please. Not even close. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> We're back. Bellagio high stakes area, mid session update time. Um, we're doing big things today. We are doing big things today. We valeted our car. We valeted our car like an adult today. Plus, valet is free because the gym computer system's down. I'll pay that. No, never mind. Let's talk about this game. Um, the game I'm in is really good. Really, really good. What I need to do now is just pick up some hands. I won't have all the money in the joint. Uh, the session started well. Um, first hand, first hand out the gate. Pocket sixes flopped the set. I actually don't even know if I got that reported because it was literally the first hand. I hadn't even sat down yet. Um, flopped, the, flopped the set there, won a nice pot. Um, stole a couple things since then. Flatted a guy with jacks from the straddle, won a decent pot. We're doing things today. Today is all about doing things. And with that said, and with that said, we're gonna get back into the game. That's it. That's your mid session update. That's it. That's all we got. And this is Rachel. This is my favorite floor. <laughs> I, have to, I have to start saying Bellagio, like you said. What'd you say? Bellagio? Bellagio. I like that. I like that better. It sounds classy. Bellagio. <laughs> oh, have you forgotten about the last Targaryen from the must move? I assure you, the room hasn't. Even though we were two tables away, I could still hear him carrying on. He did end up coming by the main game to tell us that he was leaving and that our table was the lucky winners because he wouldn't be taking our chips. Man, 80, 80 is total. I just want to announce, these are the lucky winners. These are the lucky winners. Because I have to take my chips out to dinner, I don't have to stomp on you guys. The bus moves. It's Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank God. 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 Thank God.
Right around the time of the mid-session update, the action at the table basically died. There wasn't much going on at all. I did manage to pick up pocket queens from the low jack, though. Open to $30 and you already know the hijack calls. The small blind comes along and we see the flop three ways. Ace, queen, jack, rainbow. Well, can't ask for much more than that. Hopefully, this is a little bit for everyone. The small blind checks and I continue for $50 and get no action. None. Very, very disappointing. You told me that your love for me was not strong they used to be, baby. Baby, baby. You told me the money I received was nothing but just chicken feed, baby. Pretty soon after selling my 1K chip, this game died. And it was obvious. It's time to rack up and uh, just head out. Don't talk like that. Don't talk like that. Don't talk like that. Don't talk like that. You told me that I was cool, but my money went by dog food, baby. Oh, baby. You said I was just keeping you from having yourself some fun, baby. Oh, baby. How's it going? Dance. Bracelet event. 3275. You'll win. <laughs> okay, people, we are home. Vlog is over. Here's your wrap up. In the game for 2,500, out for. What was I out for? 4,000. And some change. 4,000 and some change. I started off strong. Game was meh, but I played well. Then I moved to the main game, and the main game was really meh. And I tried to make it work. I stuck in there. I persevered. But then I had enough. I had enough. It's time to come home. I got to do garbages. There are things to get done that aren't the Bellagio. So here we are. Um... And that's it. That's the entire wrap up. So if you like the vlogs, like the vlogs, leave me a comment. I'll probably respond, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Good night. Bye. Me arriving at the Bellagio on Friday night at midnight. This house is now a litany Things I thought I'd never be Man who has opinions on an ottoman Say let's go, we can go tonight Let's <laughs> just go I got a car The crushing fame, the sold out shows and I just sing head, shoulders, knees and toes Like I'd forgotten them But I'm alive Baby, I'm thriving the mid session, mid session update. This is, I was just talking about you. I said you joined the table. Am I complaining? I'm not complaining about that. I'm complaining that it's late, and by the time I get to bed, I'm going to wake up and my Saturday is going to be ruined. Sorry to disappoint you, but I didn't mess up that many times this time. <laughs> Not that many. Near perfect. Bellagio. Next time I see All somebody, right, I got it. Me and you. I'm, I'm <laughs> Bellagio sounds so ghetto and rough. Like, Bellagio. Bellagio. 
Sounds like classy. It sounds like it's smooth. It just rolls right off. Here is one thing you won't see a lot of. Me arriving at the Bellagio on Friday night at midnight. Midnight. Let's get a session started. Let's go. Just a dead man walking. 